Happy New Year, everyone! Happy, New Year. Happy 2024! Wish everyone a joy! Wish everyone a joy! <laughs> so, in the pressure cooker, I've added one tablespoon of ghee, two bay leaves, add few pieces of cinnamon. What are we making? Jeera rice. Okay. So this is a New Year's lunch menu. Jeera rice in the making. Yeah, parpu kolumbu is already done. So that is dal curry, parpu kolumbu. And then I'm going to add one uh, so onion, thinly sliced, to the pressure cooker. Onion is added. Saute that till it cooks and becomes golden brown. It will take some time. So it turns out I already forgot the important ingredient, black cumin. So I'm going to add that now, two teaspoons. It shouldn't matter too much, right? No. Okay. Mommy. We're all about innovative cooking here. Mommy. Add it whenever. This, this is exactly what gives the jeera rice the jeera. That is what it's called. It's called black cumin rice, isn't it? Yeah. Super. There we go. Okay, mix that up a little bit. I'm, going to, I'm also going to add green chili. So I've used two, but you can add more as per your um, spice level. So I've just chopped it up a little bit. In it goes. Give that a good mix. I have also taken three cups of uh, basmati rice, washed it and soaked it for about 20 minutes now. We're adding ginger garlic paste. Okay, there we go. The onions are getting toasted, which is good. And then you add the ginger garlic. Yeah. Kids love standing around and watching us cook. Okay, that's done. Yeah, and I think it's time to add the rice. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can see, see you can see the onions can are see, nice and toasted. It's got a golden brown edge. So yes. at this point you can add the rice. I'm gonna reduce the heat for some to fix. Can I see? We're using Hawkins pressure cooker, which is which is which is a staple Indian utensil to cook. Can so I this say is the three cups of rice that I've washed? Basmati rice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna add that in. Yeah. And that's added in to the mix. Yep. Zain, what are we making today, Zain? Rice. Jeera rice. Jeera rice. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's done. We just need to add salt. Mix. <laughs> How much is this? Yeah. Just eyeball it, salt to taste. Yeah, two, two, I think oh, two. two taste teaspoons. Yeah, maybe that's, one. Yeah, that should do. You check the uh, salt level in a minute. Yeah. That's done. Apologies for the loud exhaust noise, but we switched and it out now. And the kids' noise. Yeah, in the background, but yeah. So this forms part of our New Year lunch menu. That is dal fry or parupu kolambu in Tamil. And I'll be making some chicken 65 in a minute. So I'm going to add the water. And what's the measure measurement of water? One cup of rice to one and a half cups of water. Okay, that's good. So I took three cups of rice. Yeah. And I've added four and a half. Four and a half cups yeah, of water, yeah. Of water. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Got slightly burnt, it's because of the pressure cooker at the bottom. Which and is we bound got to distracted happen. by our kids, so uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it smells really good. This the flavor of the ghee mixed with the oil and the black cumin. Oof. Very, very, very so I'm just gonna taste for fragrant. Uh, salt. Salt, yeah. You might need the to spice add a is bit there, more. Which is good. Spice level is really good. Now I've mixed it all up and we just need to wait for the water to come to a full boil and then we could close the lid and um, pressure cook it for one whistle and then that's it. And then switch it off, yeah? Yeah. It should be done. Yeah, we're not really sure about the um, measurements because this is an induction stuff. Not um, gas stuff, it's quite easy. But because it's induction, we're just gonna eyeball it and see how it goes. Now we have to close the pressure cooker. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the water has come to a boil. So I think now it's the now it's time to close. Yeah. I want mommy. I want mommy. I eat 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 mommy. I eat
you can see this steam coming so put the whistle on and once we have a whistle blow we switch it off and it's pretty much done so we are marinating some chicken 65 uh, we had just cut some chicken for chicken shorba then we thought it's too much chicken so might as well marinate it with the baby chicken 65 masala and this will go along with the other marinated chicken pieces that we have already prepared moment of truth guys so here we go let's see how it has turned out well that definitely seems nice and fluffy let's see if the rice is cooked too Yep, it's cooked. Yeah, it's nicely done. Fluff up the rice so it's not sticky and lumpy. There we go. Transferring. It's not bad. As it was burnt, it's, uh, it's not too much. It's pretty good. It's just at the bottom. The rice looks really nice and fluffed up. It doesn't stick together. The consistency is perfect actually. Which almost never happens. Never happens, yes. There you go. So if you're using an induction stove, yeah. so we put it on, um, so once the lid is closed, we put it on seven and let the whistle come. One, oh, one, whistle, whistle, one whistle and then, and switch then it off. switched it off. Yeah. yeah. And then just let the steam out naturally. Yeah. So now just for the uh, smell and flavor. flavor, we're just going to chop some coriander leaves and add it to the top. And that should do. Yeah, we were thinking of adding more ghee, but I think um, the rice mm -hmm. has enough ghee because remember at the start we added um, ghee. This is what ghee is. Nay, nama urle nay in tuluanga. Idwande. It's called ghee. Very tasty. Clarified butter. But add little bit. Yeah, not too much. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make a coffee quickly and this is called an AeroPress. Makes amazing coffee. There's a small filter paper that comes. You put it on and then. Tighten it, take coffee, measure coffee, put it in, close that back, and then high speed coffee. Then we have a temperature controlled uh, kettle, so 90 degrees, uh, 90 degrees centigrade uh, water temperature, and just pour it in up to number four because I'm gonna have black coffee. See how it uh, forms up. Then nice. put the lid on and let it rest for one minute, and then we press it. Fresh hot coffee. Very. Now it's time to press the coffee. You can see how the coffee level is going down. You don't get any residue because it's uh, the paper filter is very fine. And see, look of concentration. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. And that here, guys, is fresh coffee. Nice. I'm going to get all the spices ready for the next uh, dish, which is chicken shorba. Shorba means uh, soup. Okay. I just found out yesterday as I was looking through this recipe. Yeah. What do we need for this? Uh, Kashmiri chili powder. Okay. Garam masala. Okay. Turmeric powder. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's fine. Uh, if we need anything, we'll come and yeah, grab it. Cool. Wash the cooker. Ready for the next dish. So let's add some oil. Not too much. Maybe about a tablespoon because the chicken will have uh, fat. So, I'm going to add uh, two bay leaves. If you have big uh, bay leaves then just add one and a small piece of cinnamon stick for the chicken. Chicken drumstick, isn't it? Yeah, drumstick. I'm going to add uh, one clove because that also gives that sort of um, spicy heat. heat. Yeah. Previously in all my dishes I've added two, three and mm -hmm. it, the dish turned out to be very very spicy so Yeah, cloves tend to have that character 
the kind of it's not like the regular chili spice it's kind of a burning sensation and around the back of your throat yeah. then with about half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and mix it up and with ginger garlic um, you'll notice that it kind of catches to the bottom as well so once we pour water it will kind of be okay and i'm using the ready made that we right. get from the store ginger garlic paste you can make fresh if you want it. Yeah, to. fresh always tastes better for sure because the store bought one has a little bit of preservatives. To add um, crushed peppercorns and cumin seeds. Yeah. So I put one teaspoon of peppercorn and about one fourth teaspoon of um, cumin seeds, which I've just mashed. Ground it with my pestle and mortar. And give it a good mix. There we go. Keep the heat on high. Um, I think the chicken looks. Yeah, on the outside. outside, yeah. Add some salt. We use Malian pink salt. So next we go in with our spices. So about one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. Essential for any Indian cooking. About a half teaspoon of um, garam masala. And one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Now, Kashmiri chili powder doesn't add, um, doesn't give you that uh, heat. Spice, but it, it just for oh, good color. Yeah, it does give you a good color. Mix it all up. Nice. Now it's almost done. Yeah. I'm just going to add uh, one chopped onion. One chopped onion. Mix that well. Yeah, good mix. So I hope it's not too spicy and the kids can have this as well. Yeah. Usually our cooking tends to become more spicy for the kids and then Zain, my son I'm doesn't like it. And I'm gonna add half, a, uh, no, I've got uh, one chopped tomato. Add that in as well. So the tomatoes in. There we go. Make sure to scrape the bottom as well. Get all that goodness in the soup. Now let's uh, add some water. Mommy, turn off the cooker. And there's no burnt bits there. Yeah. So the tomato. So Zane's gonna taste and tell us how the show is. Can you taste and tell us, Zane? How do you like it? Good. That sounds good. But that would be tasty. You want to do the taste test as well? Zara is tasting. What do you think, Zara? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you like it? It's yummy. It's yummy? Yeah. Oh. Zara, do you want more? Yeah. Do you like the soup? Yeah, I like the soup. Okay. I like the soup. Okay, well that's a positive thing. <laughs> that soup is nice, mommy. Mm. This on. We're going to leave it for about four whistles and switch it off because it's chicken it'll be done soon. We are going to the kitchen outside where we fry where we fry all of our foods because it's just much easier and the smell doesn't affect the house because it's not like in India. The secret to frying any meat is using coconut oil. Fish, chicken, mutton, beef, anything coconut oil tastes phenomenal it tastes amazing so now we're gonna put the coconut oil in we'll need quite a bit of coconut oil for this anyway so all the remaining coconut oil goes in and there you can hear our second whistle go so once we put the coconut oil then the big reveal of our chicken 65 boneless marinated it overnight and the masala we used for this is a specific one from our hometown it's called baby chicken 65 masala it's manufactured and by a company in Nagar Koyal, Kanyakumari district in Tamil Nadu southern tip of India it tastes really really good very simple very simple masala mix there we go this has been marinated it's a dry mix and now uh, oil, is hot. oil is hot just drop in the chicken there you go. We can hear a lot of We can hear a lot of Daddy. Daddy. We've tried other um, masala mix for frying uh, chicken. 
but we find like this is the best one yeah. for us so far and um, we've tried our team our team masala but we feel like this is spicy yep. for the kids especially and this one does have that unique flavor there's a specific flavor that takes us back home and and that is where the masala that you it, it, it's very similar to the masala you get in the chicken shop yeah um, in india south india especially there are shops where they just fry chicken and sell it to you like chicken pakoda and stuff and there we go and there we go let that cook and now we give it a good mix amazing it doesn't stick at all it comes neatly the secret here is you should not disturb it till about 5 minutes so that the chicken just fries and it comes naturally without it getting stuck to the bottom of the pan and there we go amazing see how that is smoothly comes out trust me you should try whenever you're frying or making meat or any non vegetarian dishes try cooking with coconut oil it tastes so much better and the meat just tenderizes and it's better for your health as well cooking in coconut oil so there we go give it a good mix and change it around the meat cut combinations we have used here is boneless chicken thighs and boneless drumsticks these two according to me are the tastiest part of the meat of chicken and they are so much more tender and soft and juicy as well there we go it's nearly it's ready basically look at the color my friends lovely you need to keep in mind not to leave the chicken too long because then what will happen it's not soft inside and it becomes really hard and it becomes rubbery doesn't yeah. it yeah uh, or too basically you need to have a bit of moisture so that it's succulent and soft and we always uh, tend to uh, do shallow fry yeah. and not deep fry you can deep fry if you want to and then transfer it to a container with some tissue paper just so that the oil drains off and if you also notice with this dry rub you won't have much of residue left behind that's another we didn't add ginger garlic paste so if we no. run that most yeah. of the residue will be yeah. on your uh, in your there we go shorba is seasoned finally with the coriander leaves amazing so here is our new year special lunch cumin rice dal curry and fried chicken chicken 65 and our chicken shorba and for dessert we have this little treat which when we open it we will show a clip of that this, this is absolutely hearty lunch i mean may this year be a great year for everyone that you have great relationships friendships people growth career personal all the goals that you may achieve and we may achieve together and that is an essence of home right here as we begin 2024 So we have completed our New Year special. There we go. That's the dish right there. Now I'm going to taste and see how our soup is turned out to be. And yummy. There's a sweetness from the onions. I love it. Mm. Very satisfying. All the effort and toil from morning has been amazing. There you go. Put a bit of the soup, mix the dal lentil curry basically with the jeera rice. Take a bit of the chicken, mix it together and so good. If at all you get to get a chance to dine with us, we'll enjoy together. Dessert. This we're going to have the special dessert. This one has traveled so many miles all the way from Chennai Tamil Nadu India by um, the famous Kekoda Mama's bakery check out her instagram page phenomenal custom cakes we'll uh, post the link in the description box and, below and look at the ingredients for the english fruit cake that's rum soaked raisins currants figs cherry cranberry dates apricot prunes and candied orange in every bite so let's see how it looks as we open it and this is for our dessert for new year <laughs> there we go just pops wow wow look at that that's candied orange right there wow the kids, the kids are loving it and that is candied uh, orange. orange she made it um in herself from scratch wow look at that guys stunning there we go 
about to cut it now. There we go, we are about to cut it. Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect okay. celebratory festive cake. So I'm tasting the English fruit cake now. Very nice. I love the taste of the ingredients, all the dry fruits soaked in rum and it comes out really thoroughly. Yum. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. 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 Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, New Year. Happy 2024. Wish everyone a joy. Wish everyone a joy. <laughs> Happiness. Happiness. Fun and celebration. Even Happy through. Celebration. Uh, even through the ups and downs. May you all have a great year. Woohoo! <laughs>